Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to track sales in your Zoho CRM system. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course, you'll come to the home screen. Now, the best way to track any sales inside of your Zoho CRM system would be by using the deals module. So we'll head over to the deals module. And then from here, we of course wanna create a new deal for our new sale. So we'll press the create deal button, which is on the right over here. Uh, press create deal and then the CRM system is going to ask us to fill out some basic information now we need to give the deal a name so I'm going to call this CRM crew sale <clears throat> we need to then associate a business with the um, with the deal so I associate CRM crew with this particular deal then we need to select the type of deal is it existing business or new business so obviously is this a returning customer or a new customer so I'll select new customer and then we can write out the next step if we'd like to. Um, we can then also define the lead source. So where has this deal come from? And there's a whole host of different options. Um, so I'll let you choose the most applicable one for you. I'm going to select advertisement and then a contact name. So if we want to add a primary contact or a point of contact for this sale uh, inside of the business or the potential client, we can do, so I'm gonna choose our friend brand. <laughs> and then we can select the amount. So how much is this deal worth? We don't necessarily know this information at this point, so we can leave it blank if we need to. Now we need to select a, close, a, a closing date. So when will this deal be finished by? Obviously you never know the answer to that uh, and this can be changed. So just a ballpark guess is always a good thing to put. We can also select the stage qualification. So at which stage through the pipeline is this deal already? <clears throat> it would be best to always have the deal being created at the qualification stage, so right from the off. Uh, however, if it's been missed, you can skip ahead if you need to. Um, when you select the stage, it also selects the probability of this set of this uh, potential sale going through as an, as as business. Um, and as the stages get better and better, the probability increases. We can't input the expected revenue, but this derives from the amount. Um, so that, that will update when you put the amount in. Uh, or, and you can also choose a campaign source if the, um, if the lead source came from a campaign. We can also um, put in a description. So just adding any addif additional information about this sale if we need to. And once we've done this, we can then press save. Oh, and just add date and then press save. And then we have our new deal. Now, as you can see here, we've got a sales pipeline and we can work through the sales pipeline as applicable with what's going on with this potential new piece of business. And so this um, sale is qualified and then we can go to needs analysis, value proposition, decision makers, proposal or price quote, negotiation or review. And then once we get to the end of the pipeline, we've either won the business or we've closed and lost it and closed loss to competition. Now at any point, the business can go from being, a, being at any stage to closed or won. So we can skip ahead if we need to. The benefits of having a sales pipeline are endless. It's really useful to just track any sales that are going through the business. It allows other users to see what's going on with new potential business and allows you to track it all inside the CRM system, uh, view conversion rates and things like that. Now, you can also see if you scroll down um, that you can add notes, attachments, you can add competitors in, activities if you so wish. So you can add a lot of information just to manage um, the deals or your sales. But you can also see the stage history. So you can see where the um the sale has gone so if the if the stage changed you can see the history and when it was changed and who it was changed by so obviously we're at qualification at the moment let's say we go to id decision makers and we've got to this stage and we're at 60 percent probability of the of the deal going through and then we jump back to needs analysis uh, we can then see that we got to id decision makers and then we jump back again so that's really useful for just general tracking of what's going on um, with, with this particular sale. Um, again, I mentioned earlier briefly that um, all the data that is collected as you use deals more and more and more allows you to fine tune your sales process, uh, increase uh, your win rate 
and also look at places that you're not necessarily winning as much business and maybe assess why things are going wrong and, and you can use the data that's being collected inside of the Zoho CRM system to correlate and reflect against with your, um, with your processes and hopefully change them to improve them. And that is how you'd look to manage uh, your sales inside of your Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to track sales in your Zoho CRM system. If you do have any further questions, feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.